What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today I have a pretty special Poor Man Mod. If you watched the first part of the cam upgrade video for our Supra, you would know that we broke the camshafts at the end of the video. And right here I have three pieces. This is one cam that I broke up into three pieces. And we're actually going to try to make this into a shift knob. All we have to do is drill a hole right in there and tap it to the right uh, thread pitch as the shift the shifter and thread it on and uh, I'm gonna try to make three of these and maybe sell the other two so uh, let me show you what all we have and then we can jump into it so the first thing you have to do is find the right thread pitch for your shifter and in our case it's a 12 by one and a quarter so we went to our hardware store and found a 12 by one and a quarter tap and it actually says what drill bit we need for it it says we need a 27 64th drill bit so that's what we got right here and uh, this is a titanium drill bit it can do metal and all that stuff and then we have a tap handle for said tap now if you already have a tap and die set you probably won't need to buy either of these but I personally do not own one um, but I think these three tools combined were 30 bucks which it's not too bad when you're gonna be making your own badass shift knob so first thing we have to do is drill out the hole and then tap it so once you get in the hole you always gotta tap it so now we're going to uh, put one of these cams on the vise here and start drilling now when you're tapping stuff uh, when you drill it and when you tap it it's extremely important that you get you get it in completely straight otherwise you can mess it up or it's gonna be crooked so we have this completely horizontal on the vise and we are going to attempt to drill it completely straight Okay, so we drilled out the hole with our 27 64th inch drill bit, and now we can attempt to tap the hole to add the threads. Make sure this is in there nice and tight. So we've got our tap and our tap handle, and now we can try to start the threads. I'm not a fan of this handle. It's kind of short and it hurts my hands. Not really sure how far you should go. It's getting really tight. Maybe I'll just go until something breaks. Threads look perfect. Now we can try to install it on the car. Okay, so here's our camshaft shift knob, and here's our original shift knob. Let's see if it fits. It's threading on, but if you notice, it's kind of wobbling. Like it's up here and it comes down here. So that makes me think I either didn't drill it or tap it straight, which is what made it wobble, but it still fits. And it's completely threaded on now. <laughs> and it works. It could be a little shorter, like I could probably cut it down to here, take these two away and just have it here. But I think it's kind of cool having this long ass shifter. It's almost like I'm driving an 18 wheel or a truck or something. I mean, it makes shifts butter smooth and easy, but they're a lot longer. This might work better with a short shifter, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. And uh, I can either leave it like this or I actually took a bolt that was the same thread pitch as um, this is where the cam bolt went in and they're actually the same threads the shifter and here are the same threads So I took this bolt and it's kind of like an adapter. I can thread it onto the shift knob And then I can thread the shift knob onto the cam And now it's even longer and the cam has the shift knob on it now It just feels ridiculous. It's 
right here it's literally higher than the dash. This is absurd. It's kind of it's kind of cool how long it is, but at the same time, it'd be okay if it was only about that long. But yeah, there you go. This was a uh, DIY or a homemade shift knob out of a camshaft. And actually, this same principle can go for almost anything that you can drill and tap. Like if you found a pool ball or a golf ball, you could probably drill and tap it. Anything metal, you could drill and tap. Um, I heard of some people doing pistons or uh, connecting rods or whatever. But uh, I think this is pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you think this is stupid, or maybe you like it. Um, so uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>